Thank you so much for that introduction. Good afternoon, President Frank, Provost LeBlanc, faculty, staff, deans, students, family, and members of the University of Miami community. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to thank all of you for being here today to witness and be a part of this important rite of passage. A very special thank you to my family and friends who have traveled all this way to support me. And to God, who is the head of my life. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here today. As I reflect on these past four years, I can't recall a time where there was not some sort of construction project going on here at Red. <laughs> Coming in our freshman year, the Shalala Student Center was nothing more than rubble and structural elements, creating the foundation for what can now be considered the heartbeat of our on-campus community. Not to mention all the other countless other projects and renovations that have happened around campus. I remember it well, because if I wasn't fully awake from my 8 a.m. chem class, I was definitely wide awake by the time I took the detour on the way to Cox from all the jackhammer. But enduring those mornings was well worth it. At one point or another, these buildings were just foundations for something greater, for an idea or a dream that with some hard work, dedication, perseverance, and passion, eventually manifested into reality. Just like these buildings, we also need a foundation to build upon. Many of us came to the University of Miami seeking the tools to lay that foundation, myself being included. When I entered the university with an interest in marine science, conservation, and policy, shout out to all my Rasmus grads. <laughs> I always received a perplexed look from those who learned this about me because you just don't see many African-American women in this field, and it was a subject that wasn't necessarily encouraged, let alone taught where I grew up in Metro Atlanta. Fortunately, I did have the opportunity to get a brief glimpse into this world as a child when I lived in California, where a single visit to the Santa Monica Pure Aquarium planted an unshakable passion within me, and from that moment forward, I was hooked. Little did I know, <laughs> Little did I know that that experience, which at the time seemed so casual, would end up affecting my life in such a profound way. To be honest, before you end, all I had was my imagination and the bit of discovery I did on my own about the marine environment and the biologists, conservationists, and policymakers who made a living studying and protecting it. So I carried the passion sparked within me from that experience at the aquarium until I could get to college where I would begin to build the very foundation I proudly stand upon at this moment. Part of my foundation even consists of losing both my parents shortly before coming to college and having to endure all of the challenges and sacrifices that came along with that every day of my college career. But it made me stronger, humble, mindful, and even more resilient. What I would build here for myself was very important because it would be the foundation for my whole new life. Although the foundation that I would enter college on would be a little shaky, I was confident that the atmosphere here at the U, combined with the wisdom and love for my parents, would foster the environment I needed to create a new one. Now, four years later, I have gained so much knowledge and created relationships that I will be sure to carry with me into this new chapter of my life as a graduate of the University of Miami. As we sit here today in our caps and gowns, we are the culmination of all the different pieces of our collegiate experience that we have taken and embedded into our own personal foundations so that when we leave this place, we can have firm ground upon which we can create our new lives. Now, by no means does your legacy have to be finished at this point because 
mine is far from it. But I at least hope that you can join me in feeling that your base is sturdy. So class of 2016, whatever you do, never stop living. Just like our university, we should embrace our past but always continue to reach towards the future. So I challenge you to stand firmly next to your foundations and be proud of what you have begun to build here at the U. Because before you know it, you'll have something great on your hands. I can't express how unbelievably proud I am of all of us. And everything leading up to this moment makes me cherish just how great it is to be a Miami Hurricane. <laughs> all the best in whatever path you decide to take once you leave this room today. So congratulations. We made it. And, and, and as always, go Canes. Woo! We have family.